Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about China and the United States and American exceptionalism and how something that has uh, become surprising, um, some might even say shocking or concerning, to a lot of people um, isn't surprising at all. It shouldn't be. But because of American exceptionalism, it is. So, there is a, uh, a lot of talk about China's growing economic power. The concern is that someday soon, China will outstrip the United States and, and become that leading economic power. A good gauge of economic power is the GDP. Currently, the United States has about $23 trillion and China is sitting around 17, but China is increasing at a faster rate. That's the general trend. What is GDP? I mean, other than a really good indicator of economic power. It is the final number when it comes to goods and services exchanged. The idea that China, as it modernizes, is uh, going to have a higher number I don't know how that's surprising. I don't know why it's shocking. And most importantly, one of the reasons it's happening is uh, the policies of the people who are terrified of it the most. China's growing economic power is a concern for all of the U.S. government, but it is particularly scary for those on the right. Um, here's the thing. Final goods and services. Right. What's the U.S. population? 331 million, something like that. What's China's? 1.4 billion. You mean to tell me that a country more than four times the size as far as population goes is going to have more goods and services exchanged? I'm shocked. The only people that should be surprised by this are people who have bought into the idea that the United States is somehow special. That it will always lead the world because it always has during their lifetime. They bought into the mythology. China has a much larger population base. As it modernizes, yeah, they're going to have more goods and services exchanged. That's, that's not a surprise in any way, shape, or form. And the irony here is that the United States and its GDP expansion being slower is the fault of the policies of the people who are scared the most. Off the top of your head, come up with two ways to increase the U.S. population real quick. First is probably immigration, right? Just let people come. We'll have more people. There will be more goods and services exchanged. Shocking. Got a feeling the right wing isn't going to be cool with that. What's the other option? They rant about how the U.S., is, we're, we're not having enough babies, right? You know a real easy fix for that? Reduce income inequality. Make sure that those people who right now may not be having kids because they don't have the money have more money because then they can have kids. Incidentally, if they have more disposable income, they will spend it, which will increase the GDP, which will increase the United States' economic power. The, the idea that the United States will remain the economic superpower of the world while other countries with much larger populations modernize and become economic powers of their own. It, it's rooted in American mythology. It's rooted in American exceptionalism. And this is why it's dangerous. This is why you, you, you need to get rid of the mythology. This is why you need critical history so you can understand stuff like this. Um, the message that I got that prompted this, I mean, this person was absolutely terrified. 
and of course blaming me. Um, but the the answer here is not to become more isolationist. The answer here is more cooperation, more economic trade. It, it's it's lowering the barriers, not putting them up higher. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.